Today we're gonna take a closer look at a set of Blender add-ons by a very talented developer. Somehow these add-ons went under my radar and generally they cover a wide range of functions. From garment simulation, hairstyling, weight painting, modeling and more. And honestly, these are pretty good. And I'm sure you will find some of these really useful. So let's dive into each one of them and see what they will bring to the table. Let's start with Garment Tool, which works with simulated cloth in Blender by letting you start with simple 2D sewing patterns that are stitched together into a mesh. You can adjust things like fabric drape, tension and collision parameters so that the cloth behaves in a natural way. The add-on even shows you mismatched sewn segment lengths with a chain icon which makes it easier to see where the sewing might need adjusting. There are options for splitting, joining, and even cutting holes in patterns, along with automated vertex group generation. This means you can experiment with different fabric effects and see how the cloth interacts with your model. And if you're looking to dress up a character or add moving cloth elements to your scene, this tool gives you a hands-on way to tinker with cloth simulation and achieve amazing results. Now let's talk about hair with this add-on called Hair Tool, which makes creating hair less of a hassle by bypassing Blender's complex particle system. So it lets you generate hair stands in two ways, procedurally or by drawing them manually, giving you a choice in how you can build your hairstyle. So basically you can adjust parameters such as strand length, density, curl, and clumping so that the hair doesn't come out looking too uniform. And the add-on takes care of the UV assignments automatically and even offers baking options for textures which makes switching between guide curves and actual hair cards much smoother. I would like to add to this that there are several presets available to give you a good starting point, yet you still have the option to manually tweak things like symmetry and vertex color sampling. And I think the mix between automated setups and hands-on control is absolutely amazing because it lets you experiment with different hairstyles and you can add hair-like details to your various objects inside your scene and achieve something spectacular. The next add-on called Group Pro doesn't seem like it is as important as the previous two add-ons, but trust me, it is. Basically, it helps you manage and organize your Blender scenes when projects start getting crowded with objects. Think of it like organizing files into folders on your computer. You can group objects quickly and even nest groups within groups for a more layered approach. It supports features like batch renaming and hierarchical sorting so you can easily locate your objects, I mean the objects that you need inside a busy scene. You can also apply modifiers such as bevels of subdivisions to entire groups all at once. And you can change materials across all items in a group with just one action. This means you're not spending this time manually adjusting each object, which keeps your workflow smooth and your workspace tidy. From what I can see, the add-on is designed to reduce clutter and help you maintain control over complex scenes, letting you focus more on the creative aspects of your work, and it offers a relaxed way to keep track of your elements, which I think will help you more to get what you want from this tool. Another important aspect in the 3D workflow is weight painting. That's why we're going to talk about this add-on called Weight Paint Tools. And this one is going to help you simplify the process of assigning weights to your models, which is key for smooth deformations in animation. As you can see, the add-on has extra brushes, gradient options, and symmetry controls that can help you distribute weights evenly across your mesh. The trick is, it automatically normalizes the weight values so you don't need to manually adjust them repeatedly, which saves you time and the hassle of doing this yourself. The tool also offers quick loop selections and fill options for vertex groups, reducing the back and forth that typically comes with weight painting. So I think whether you are setting up a character rig or fine tuning deformations for more natural movement, these extra controls make the process more intuitive. You can assign strong weights to key areas and blend transitions between joints, ensuring that your model deforms smoothly, especially when animated. Now, with something different, we have another add-on called Volume Preserving Smoothing, which from what I can see is gonna help you clean up your models while at the same time retaining their original shape. You see, unlike basic smoothing tools that can wash out important details, this add-on employs an algorithm that maintains the model's volume even as it softens harsh edges. You can adjust the strength and number of smoothing passes, allowing you to strike a balance between reducing rough spots and preserving intricate features. 
This is particularly useful for organic or sculpted models, or the natural form is important to keep it intact. In addition, the adjustable settings let you experiment with different levels of smoothness so that you can achieve a polished look without sacrificing character. And this particular approach ensures that your model remains true to your original design, which is the point in the first place, but with removed imperfections and refined results. Still with modeling, we have another add-on called Rebevel for Blender which simplifies adding bevels to your models by providing adjustable settings for edge width, segment count, and profile shape. So instead of relying on trial and error to achieve the right edge transition, this add-on gives you direct control over how sharp or soft the bevels appear. It works well with both hard surface objects and models featuring curves, allowing you to create refined edge details that integrate naturally with your overall design. And as you tweak parameters, you can immediately see the impact of your model structure. I mean, this can help you achieve the desired depth, also the desired refinement. And the general purpose is to smooth sharp corners or add subtle definition to the edges. And the add-on offers tools to make those precise adjustments efficiently and it can do that also effectively. Now we're gonna jump to an animation add-on called Wobbly Wiggler, which adds a playful element to your projects by introducing subtle and controlled jiggles to your models. This add-on lets you adjust settings for the speed, intensity, and frequency of the motion, which means you can experiment with different types of movement, from gentle sways to more pronounced wobbles. And this add-on is fit for adding a bit of extra motion to elements like character hair or decorative objects, without needing a full animation setup. As you can see, its range of motion parameters give you the freedom to create effects that suit the mood of the scene. And for me personally, I think it makes things a whole lot more realistic because it saves you the time of trying to simulate these effects manually, which often doesn't look natural or it takes too much time to do that. Also, if you want to save time in modeling and sculpting, this add-on called Block Fusion is going to help you do that, simply because it offers a creative way to merge separate objects into one smooth and cohesive form. With adjustable parameters for fusion strength and transition smoothness, you can control how seamlessly different elements blend together, as you can see in this character. This is particularly useful for creating organic and abstract designs, where hard edges might disrupt the overall flow of the piece. And the add-on provides a method to experiment with merging objects, allowing you to fine-tune the iteration until the result feels natural and unified. So whether you are softening the boundaries between distinct shapes or combining elements into a single sculpture, this add-on, I think, gives you the best tools to explore a fluid and smooth look. And most importantly, I think it is fun to use and it gives you the feeling that you are making progress when working on a character or something organic without lots of tedious work. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.